Last time on Sailing Bella Chandra, we did some free diving at the Molinaire Underwater Sculpture Park. Then we dived on a coral reef in Beausjour Bay, Grenada. If you're new to the channel, I'm Noelle. And I'm Dan. And we're Sailing Bella Chandra. We're from Nova Scotia, Canada, and now we're sailing around the Caribbean. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, just do so right now. Go right below the channel, look for the big red subscribe button, press that button. If you go back and watch some of our older videos, we have another video that does fairly well. It's called Live Aboard Life Hacks, it's with all the tips and tricks we've learned since living aboard our boat. So here we go with another Life Hacks video, Life Hacks 2. It's not just our boat that I'm going to be showing you around, but we'll be showing you around our neighboring boats and what they've come up with. So we've asked their permission and they've allowed us to film on board their vessels. And this is the second time that we've made a video just like this. So if you haven't watched our first one, please don't forget to go back and check it out. One seriously essential item we brought on board with us is our trolley cart. It folds up quite easily and we store it just about anywhere on the boat and can be really handy when transporting groceries, water jugs, or a diesel jug, or a large item that you purchase somewhere and just have to get it back to the dinghy. Our trolley cart is a cruiser's must-have item. Cockpit lighting is really important, especially at night when you're trying to clear up something in the cockpit, or maybe you're entertaining and you have guests and it just helps to be able to see. We installed our own cockpit lights using these LED strips taped to a spare batten. They make a huge difference at night in our cockpit and it's great for entertaining. Here are some other great cockpit lighting ideas from other boats in our anchorage. LED strip lighting is now commonly found throughout boats and you can even have them change color, which is pretty neat. Friends of ours installed this extra light on their transom, which is actually made for off-road vehicles, but works well in the marine environment. A light off the transom makes a lot of sense, especially at night when you're tying up your dinghy or you have guests aboard who are leaving in the dark. Here's a cool life hack I simply just had to share. Just the other day, while Dan and I were sitting on deck enjoying some cold beverages, we looked across the way and noticed a friend of ours scrubbing his hull while sitting on a pool noodle. Which gave them just enough buoyancy to clean that water line without a whole lot of effort. It was really clever and a great reason to keep a pool noodle on board. If your toilet paper roll is inside your cupboard, accessing the toilet paper by opening the door can sometimes be difficult, especially if you're tall or in a cramped space. On our boat, we turn our toilet paper in reverse and pull the loose end through the crack above the door. Puppy pee pads. We used them for Zeus, obviously, while we were potty training him. But believe it or not, these guys have multiple purposes that it can help you with diesel spills, oil spills, any spills, you name it. A friend of ours even uses it under their engine compartment. We already covered using sheets to make sunshades here in the tropics in our 27 things we didn't know video, but thought we should mention it again because our homemade sunshades have been quite useful in keeping us cool here in the Caribbean. Our sunshades were made from cheap bed sheets that we picked up along the way. On our friend's Beneteau, there's a transom step that folds down, and to prevent chafing on the fiberglass edge, they were able to screw a piece of hose in where the stopper would go. The hose was a good solution here as a spacer and a bumper, and seems to hold up well in the marine environment. A scrap piece of hose has a lot of uses on a boat. You can use pieces of hose for anti-chafe. Here is a piece of hose I cut at an angle to cover these pieces of sharp bungees that would otherwise hurt our feet when we walk around on the deck. Here's another small piece of hose I added to this teak rail to keep hanging items from chafing while moving underway. Another simply awesome life hack we had to share from one of our neighboring boats is how they used a large diameter PVC pipe off their transom rail to hold a spare anchor. What a great idea! On Balachandra we have a single sideband radio. A certain portion of our backstay is used as the radio antenna and is bookmarked by two isolation points. The wire going to this antenna must be isolated from metal components. Here I was able to use some zip ties and some small scraps of flex pipe to hold the antenna wire off the lower portion of the backstay to avoid metal contact. A single sideband antenna is a high voltage item and it's important to isolate this wire from other metal parts on your boat. 12 volt refrigeration on boats is a touchy subject. A refrigerator is probably the highest draining item you will have on board, so it's very important, especially in a hot climate, to optimize how much cold air you can keep inside. Here on our friend's Beneteau, 
they added this great blanket on top of their freezer to help isolate the fridge and freezer from the top. Another cool upgrade are these digital thermostats, and I'm told these were purchased on Amazon and were very easy to install. If you have the space for it in your salon, and you like to have extra cold storage, why not have a standalone fridge and freezer right here in the salon for extra cold food storage? What a great idea. I wish Balachandra had room for one of these. These guys have a full-size washing machine on their boat. Man, if I had the space, I would totally have this. I think it's a great idea, especially while traveling in the Caribbean as washing your clothes is not always that affordable. A pressure cooker is also a great item to have on board. It cuts your cooking time in half, therefore saving you heaps on propane. Here's a great idea for storing fenders in the deep lazarette compartment of our friend's Beneteau near the transom. Opening the compartment, you can see the fenders are stacked vertically and held in place by clam cleats. A clever modification and a great way to store your fenders. If you have a flat screen television on board, you're probably going to need a way to secure it while underway. Here's how friends of ours took care of that problem using lines and bungees to hold the TV in place. Pretty clever. Another important feature of this flat screen television is that it runs off DC voltage. When purchasing a TV for your boat, see if you can get one that has 12 volts DC in. It'll save you a lot of trouble and you can watch television without running the inverter. If you have any extra material from building a dodger or a bimini, like canvas or other marine fabrics, there's lots of useful items you can make. Some friends of ours did just that. Here's a homemade sheath for a machete. A machete is useful here in the Caribbean for opening coconuts or even bushwhacking a trail depending on where you are. It's great to save your plastic bottles. Whether it be an empty Coke bottle, water bottle, all shapes and sizes, save them because down the road, you will have a purpose for them. At a common toy store, sometimes you can find these great little water guns, which are actually a water pump, just like the water pump you would use to drain your dinghy. If you can find one of these, they're easy to store, and they're great if you need to drain out the fridge, drain out the dinghy, or something very quickly. For those items hanging in your locker that you haven't used in ages, it's a great idea for you to just throw a plastic bag over them. It'll help keep them from getting that stale smell. Those friends of ours with the Beneteau explained to us how their hanging locker had no ventilation. They cut this hole at the bottom of the closet and used this metal mesh material, creating a vent which is fairly tasteful and venting the locker. We just love this net that friends of ours installed on their transom. When coming in from a swim or a dinghy ride, it's easy to just throw items in there as a catch-all, like your snorkel, your flippers, or anything else you might be carrying. It's a quick way to drop something while doing something else and come back and get those items later. What a great idea to put a net here at the transom. This was the first time I've ever seen anyone protect their lifelines from a jib sail. It seems like a really good idea, especially if you have a large jib sail, which may tend to rub against your lifelines and possibly chafe the sail. On this boat, they wrapped styrofoam pipe insulation around the lifelines. It's a clever idea, and it should preserve the life of the sail. I thought this homemade outboard motor mount was quite unique. It has a support system using a chain and a turnbuckle and should provide lots of strength to the rail when mounting a heavy outboard motor. This motor mount was made using starboard, some pieces of aluminum and some steel bolts. A non-marine barbecue. That's right. These guys have a non-marine barbecue and it's working perfectly. They've been sailing with this for a while and it's holding up just as well as a marine grade barbecue. Noelle was complaining that my guitar was just everywhere. Anywhere we wanted to sit or lay down, that guitar just seemed to show up. Borrowing an idea from another cruiser, friends of ours, who mounted their guitar on the ceiling, I devised a way to mount our guitar on the ceiling of our boat, using nylon straps and some clips so I can quickly release and remove the guitar or put it back when I'm finished without too much hassle. On one side I have a plastic clamp, and on the other a carabiner tied to the handrail. If I had known Beneteau's came with this, we would have bought a Beneteau. Just kidding. But this simple feature is just amazing. It's actually a dustpan. You remove this floor panel and it catches all of the things that fall through the cracks in the floor. Amazing. Why don't we have this in every boat? 
So that's the end of our live aboard life hacks video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have any life hack suggestions of your own that cruisers might enjoy, please leave them in the comments below and maybe it'll go into our life hacks 3.0. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this week's video, leave us a like or a comment below. And please don't forget to subscribe. Just go below this video and look for that big red button, press subscribe. And if you haven't checked out our Patreon page, now's a good time to do so. Patreon's a place where you can give back. If you like what we do and you want to support us, that's where you do it. Thanks for watching. See Bye. you later.